one of two people in this world wears glasses with lenses from Dania. Contribution of the lower tiers just as much as the ones on top. They are in Shaxian, a place that is well known for its local snack, Shaxian delicacies. Hi, hello and welcome to Guangdong's Yantian, a village that is located in the southern tip of Dongguan City and is nestled in Shenzhen by bordering to the east, south and west this huge metropolitan city. It has recently made headlines for becoming the first village in Dongguan to have reached 10 billion yuan in total assets. By the end of 2023, the local villagers received dividends that reached a minimum of 47,000 yuan per person. This is the result of sound leadership, decisions, investment, and land rentals. Yantian is known for being one of the earliest adopters of reform and opening up since 1979, welcoming many entrepreneurs to this area. Over time, Yantian endeavored towards industrial transformation and upgrading of the village. Two factors made this possible. The market trend awareness of the local decision makers, which allowed them to steer the industrial, commercial and investment ability of the village itself towards more profitable results. Also, the transparency in development projects, management and investments as well. These boards right here explain in detail the use and allocation of the local funds, making city leaders accountable for their successes as well as their shortcomings. They actually show how the city manages its funds from the money that comes in, the money that goes out, the different projects, the different plans, the investments, and all the results that they bring to the people of Yantian Village. This is something quite unique that I've never seen before, and I think that we should have in more places around China. Uh, you tell us what you Okay. And 一个责任，呃，我们村民呢可以通过这个宣传栏呢，啊，及时的去了解到我们村委会的呃收支情况啊，啊，还有重大决策啊，啊，让村民的话就可以时刻的去了解到村委会的运作情况。The integration of government services from both Shenzhen and Dongguan makes life a lot easier for people in the village and for commuters and migrants as well. Tell me, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Eugene, I'm from Ukraine. Okay, how long have you been in China? I've been living in China about 13 years. 13 years? Yes, okay. but here I stay one and a half year. In Yantian? In Dongguan, Yantian, yes. Okay, what made you choose Yantian? Because I think this place is nice, it's developing, mm -hmm. it's good to raise children here, it's like very safe. It's better than big city, I think. It's mm -hmm. more calm and more comfortable here. What do you like the most about this place? I like that we have many parks here. We can go anywhere with children, park mm -hmm. here and there, and golf club, and our, the place we live have park. Have you bought a place here, or is it a rental? We just rent here. Okay. <laughs> it's cheap to rent here, but expensive to buy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how often do you go to Shenzhen, and how convenient is it to, to Shenzhen? Shenzhen is Shenzhen. just like 500 meters from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cross so the street just, and... <laughs> you just walk like seven minutes in the ancient jail. Okay. Ah, I'm Huang Yan. Ah, you're from where? I'm from Guangxi. Guangxi. Yeah. I've been here for a long time. I've been here for about 10 years. I've been here for a long time. 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 我感觉到非常的自豪。通过这个百亿村呢，我们村的村农村茂啊，包括公园的绿化、道路的设计啊、升级啊、啊村农村茂居住环境上，得到了一个很大的提升。我们在这边生活，感觉到很便利，也感
And what better way to finish this quick overview of rural revitalization and industrial transformation in Yentian, the first 10 billion village in Dongguan, than to visit its library right here in Yanghu Park. Well, we admire the size of its development throughout its 8 square kilometers of area. This park and its leading goose are emblematic of the rewards that can await any community when inclusiveness, transparency, and a vision for the future come together under the guidance of the central government. I hope to be able to report on many more 10 billion villages in China in the future.